welcome back to Let's Play Splinter Cell. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to start this session off by giving a shout out to Quarter Life Crises, who says, Since this is technically a friendly base, I imagine Fisher is taking notes on security to share with the CIA once all the excitement's over. Number one, fix that malfunctioning exhaust fan that can become an easy infiltration point. Number two, have better lighting in the hallways. Number three, that staircase is a workplace safety hazard, needs a guardrail. Number four, Donnie needs to call his wife. Number five, is that Sputnik? Why are we displaying Russian satellites instead of our own? Was this done by the CIA mole? Number six, seriously, need to invest in better lighting. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. It's cavernously dark in there. I wanted to mention for a while now, I forgot, that uh, there's a button down here at the bottom below all the normal commands. It just says Splinter Cell Website. And uh, a while back I was curious, so I clicked on it. I have to admit, I was surprised that it still worked. It opens a browser tab to www.splintercell.com, you know, the original website for the franchise. And apparently Ubisoft have maintained that, though these days it's just a redirect towards uh, the uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist segment of uh, Ubisoft.com. <laughs> Operate without restrictions. Yeah, but that's uh, about a decade ahead of us at this point in the franchise, so instead of looking too deeply into Blacklist, let's uh, just get back over, huh? <laughs> ah, yes, back over here done that. Uh, I guess I'll load the quick save. Ah, yes. Not one of these screens has been shot out yet. I did actually like that shooting out the TVs caused the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the lighting in the room to change. That was uh, a nice touch. Uh, Quarter Life Crises left a video, uh, comment on a subsequent video saying, Further notes Fisher has for the CIA. Number one, have buttons for the actual floors in the elevator. Number two, no wonder the Georgians managed to attack us if no one even noticed shots being fired in the HQ. And uh, then a little bit of confusion there. Doesn't Fisher have a gun? Didn't Lambert say I'd be ignorant not to arm you but keep it holstered? Yeah. I, in case that wasn't clear to anyone else, say Justin for example. Uh, I started the level without the pistol, and Lambert said that line after telling me where to find this assault rifle, which they had stashed here for me. Somehow. If they could do that, I don't know why they didn't have the guy who put it there uh, just get me the information. Unless we're literally just stealing this? That suddenly occurred to me. It is a stealthy weapon, and it is the CIA. Huh. Well, yes, we need to get to Doherty's computer. Last time we found out that Mitchell Doherty is the mole we're looking for. Yes, he's, uh... He's working with the alien Sona faction to uh, get revenge on their genetic predecessors, the peace-loving uh, naturists, the Baku, and uh, steal the healing radiation from the uh, atmosphere of their planet that makes them immortal. Oh, no, wait, hang on, that was Admiral Dougherty from Star Trek Insurrection. B.S. Spoilers. <laughs> uh, what a very strangely specific reference to pop into my head every time that ga guy gets name-dropped. Oh, and uh, one other thing from Quarter Life Crises there that says, Also, I wonder why Fisher doesn't carry binoculars. Sure, he mostly deals with close combat situations in low light, but there are many instances in the game where being able to see a little further out could be of great help. And you're not wrong about that. You'd think it would be a mode in these goggles, honestly. What am I fucking doing? Uh, not inventory. Right, get to the computer. And he is in... I don't remember where he is. Weapons testing department, presumably. I'll go over there. It was down this hall, I think. It does feel weird in this game to just be casually strolling while standing up straight. Look, I'm even running. It's like a speaker box. 
It kind of looks like they took the model for a cargo container, made it really, really small, and stuck it up there in the corner. But I don't think that's what it is, since it appears to be mounted to the wall. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I don't know that our buddy in there didn't have anyone else, so I'm just gonna get back into sneakiness. Can I...? Oh, there's no glass there! I can just stroll in that way! <laughs> nice. This computer is not on, so I can't even push the button and get nothing. Oh, the TVs, I guess, yeah. I can see a window there, but... That is a much better view than I would get. Hmm. One of the things I always liked about this series is uh, that I have absolutely no fucking idea what the sequels are about from the subtitles. It's fun. I don't actually remember which one is two and which one is three, but I think one of them is Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, and the other one is Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow, which, to be perfectly frank, kind of just sounds like a James Bond movie. What's this? Space-based surveillance system. I very much doubt I I'm gonna give it a shot. That's right, I just hit fast. No, that is just a block with smears on it. There is no way I'm going to read that. Although it is a good time to bring up something I have continuously forgotten to, to tell you guys since we got here. Which is... Huh, since we got distracted with reflections in the ground being kind of weird. Oh, I don't like that. Hitting the zoom button actually increased my fastness. That might be what happened earlier. What? Oh, there's fucking cameras on the ceiling, man. I didn't even see those things, or hear them, even. Okay. We know where we're going. I'll just go there. And I know I didn't get caught, so I'll continue being fast. walking out in the open like that. But I was starting to say, but we're being rudely interrupted, that supposedly Ubisoft are working on a prequel, a prequel, a, uh, a remake of this game. Yeah, I see them now. I'm pretty sure they're armored. I can just check. Yeah, that's definitely an armored casing. Fuck. Do they rotate all the way around, or...? For God's sake. Oh, they do just spin in a circle. That's good. That's great. That's awesome. I'm, I'm really happy to hear that. That just brings me so much joy. Alright, uh, how the fuck am I going to do this? I'm going to start by getting out here into the dark. It doesn't look dark with the cameras at certain angles, but it is dark over here. I mean, I could just shoot out all the fucking lights, but I'm not gonna, because that is a tremendous waste of ammo. At least they seem to be synced with each other. Like, if they're rotating in opposite directions, that would be a problem. Come out here. Call security with oh, shit. Ah. Ah. ah! Sloppy. And there's nothing even up here. 
Oh, fine. Ooh. Back up to half health, at least. Oh, shit! Right, they turn around. I forgot about that. I will mention that the uh, Splinter Cell remake was cr announced in uh, 2022, and they have shown nothing since then. Not a goddamn thing. There's no trailer, there's no screenshots. I think that whirring noise means the cameras can see me, but I thought they were... Ah, mm. oh, fuck! The one that saw me slowed down, they're not synced anymore. Unless I shut them up. Last year they did, you know, make, say, make some announcements about it. I don't even remember what it was. Oh yes, they uh, one of the, they acknowledged that uh, they are going to edit the storyline to be more appropriate for a modern uh, like telling. I guess I don't know what that's about, but oh, why are that dude's eyes glowing? I don't think that rendering properly. Is that a camera? No. Couldn't help but think that maybe they changed the country to something other than Georgia, as they realized that, uh, well, if Russia's army actually sucks that much, there's no way a small post-Soviet state could, uh, <laughs> do that. As a friend of mine put it, uh, it was once believed that Russia had the second greatest army in the world. And, uh, after they invaded... We learned that they don't, uh... Well, they have the second greatest army in the Ukraine, I believe is how he worded it. <laughs> Hi! What the hell? Perfect timing. What? <sighs> Tuck you in this corner over here. It's actually brighter closer to the window. Well, it looks dark, man. Yeah, this is good. Oh, all right, fine. His head shouldn't clip into the wall or he'll suffocate in concrete. There. You can stay right there, even though it's lesser. Fuck that guy. Eh, I suppose I should use more of these, since, you know, again, they reset this stuff every level. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Must be some good shit. Terminal access will be restricted to users and administrators until further notice. Maybe they should have done that, like, an hour ago. Just a thought. I hear a camera. I do not see a camera. Just checking over the door I'm standing under. Alright, proceeding with caution. Ah, oh, hell, it's right there. I can't even tell which way it's uh, facing right now. What the fuck? Alright, I'm just gonna have to check. Oh, that was good timing on my part. Wait, what? Dead end? Alright, cameras don't care what noise you make, I forgot. Okay, okay, okay. Against the wall, directly under the camera. I'm... Oh, fuck. 
There's a keypad over there. Oh! Well, there's your solution. Only one light in the ceiling. Pretty sure I can make this shot. Oh, that's great. The only thing I can see is the outline of the door I need to go to, and the keypad next to it. very embarrassed with this thing had a motion sensor on it, I'm going to admit that. I was just jumping up and down in front of it. <laughs> oh, fuck, this is a long one, wasn't it? Uh, 110700. 110, 700. Okay. Oh, no, don't do that. Uh, instead of immediately opening the door. Every time I do that, I try to turn off the night vision goggles. Every fucking time. Especially if I'm doing it through, you know, with the night vision goggles on out here. Oh, the sound reset when I left and re-entered its distance. Interesting. Well, tell Clarence I'm gonna have his ass in his badge for this. Be because I'm looking at agency photographs of Red Bear on TV! Find out what agency media the press has. Anything they haven't shown yet, get back before they do. I... I don't know, I don't care! Fix it! Oh, fuck. camera company. It's feeling really sad because it's kind of impotent right now. God, it's dark in there. So let's put you right here in front of this camera. Oh, boy. Well, hey, I appreciate that. Apparently the camera itself gives off. It's pretty, uh, interesting amount of heat. It's up to green. I tried mashing it twice there, but unlike uh, Chris Redfield, he doesn't body check the door open. <laughs> so I'm going to turn the lights back on in case I just need this for a uh, screenshot. Is this Doherty's computer? Because it could be. That could have been Doherty right there. No. No. That was just some guy. So I guess he was legitimately pissed off instead of just worried. Oh, so there's numbers on the fucking vending machine, sure, instead of symbols for the different drinks. Actually, wait, there's numbers in the vending machine, but no image to indicate what the numbers mean. Great. Is that... Oh, God. It's a shooting gallery over there, and I... I, I saw the silhouette on one of the targets as I uh, panned the camera and uh, thought, oh shit, there's a dude in the next room. Weapons testing department. This would be the... What the fuck is that? Well, it's a tripod with a heavy machine gun sitting on top of it. And if all those videos, videos I watched about uh, Lethal Company have taught me anything, it's that if I walk in front of it, it's going to blow me the fuck away! Thankfully it has a really small cone. And I don't know why it makes a doom door noise every time it reaches the edge. Are you insane? Oh, they must have been literally just testing it. It's in front of all the targets, of course. What's that? Interact flare. Huh. Ow. 
Ah, come on. There we are. Flare. A standard flare that emits both light and heat. How to use me. Select the flare from your quick inventory, number one. Number two, press the use equip key to equip Sam. Number three, a series of reticles on screen will show your aiming trajectory. Number four, using the mouse, use uh, move the reticle to aim. Number five, press five to throw the object. Press six, press the use equip key to abort the throw. I should probably mention, Justin, that uh, there's four icons on the side that all of the menus are divided into. Inventory is uh, a rectangle divided into six smaller segments, and the one in the uh, right middle has a block inside of it. It's almost as if my inventory took the form of an ice cube tray. Uh, mission information is a targeting reticle, with a dot in the middle. Settings is a scroll wheel with a bar in the middle. And uh, saving and loading, of course, is a floppy disk, which does remind me that I should save. Hey, let's do something stupid and test out my theory. Oh, it just immediately opens up. It doesn't even, like, make beeping noises or anything. Can I deactivate this thing by getting really close to it? No. Interact with... There is a laptop here I can interact with. It says interact with turret. I can either deactivate or disable IFF. I I'm just going to turn this one off, but I see where that could be really fucking useful in the future. Oh, I can turn it back on. IFF is disabled. Those are just ch check boxes. I kind of figured that's what the laptop was for, given that it's sitting in one of those velvet cases with the impressions for where the gun goes. switch in here? No. Well, I am no longer being perforated, so I guess it worked. This game does not have achievements, because it predates the concept of achievements. But if it did, I'm pretty sure I'd get one for getting bullseyes here. Nice grouping. Two more flares. Ah, oh, it didn't leave a hole. They treated the uh, paper with fabric f physics. Actually, reload, then do it. The thing about the gun ejecting five shells at once reminded me of... Uh, Actually, I don't remember what it's called. This gun from uh, a World War II game I played once. I don't think it was for a Let's Play. But it was uh, one of those single-shot rifles that, you know, were so popular in, like, World War I. And, uh... The thing I remember about it is that you couldn't reload after the first shot you fired. You needed to fire at least, I think it was, like, three or four, maybe five. And, uh, then you could reload the entire uh, mag. Or I guess that was a clip, huh? That wasn't Dowardy's computer, but I did get a data stick. Central Intelligence Agency. Jesus. From Steve Kirshner to Gail Tauger. Sent October 28th, 2004, 1243. Subject, automated turret. Agent Tauger, the turret was retrieved on a westbound road leading out to uh, Tbilisi two days ago. The identity of the drivers is still to be determined. Apparently, you were right. The turret is sensitive to both heat and motion. We're having trouble identifying the software, but there is definitely a very effective IFF recognition system at work here in this thing. Oh, I should say, if you didn't actually know what that means... Yeah, anyone not programmed as a friendly will be fired upon if in range. I think it's called. it stands for Identification Friend or Foe. Disabling the IFF system simply makes it fire on anyone, friendly or not. A week ago, I wouldn't have believed anything this advanced would exist anywhere close to that region. A dangerous time to be underestimating our enemies. S.A.S. Kirchner. Special Agent Steve Kirchner. I have never understood the difference between Special Agent and Agent. This Laws and Drapper says, You've survived tougher. As it was, it is technically true. There aren't any necromorphs in this fucking game. 
And I doubt very much I will have to fight the devil at the end of it. That happened a few times. Oh yeah, the room I can see through the window of uh, does not have uh, any guys in it. Although now that I can see under the table, I can tell you that it's covered in gum. That's a, that's a lie. Although it does have weird patterns underneath. Come on, there you go. Left, up, down. I like it. You just need to find the direction, as opposed to some of them where you need to like feel around for a vibrating spot or whatever. This is silly, I'm doing the outro. Leave the lights on for this. Why is it? Oh, I guess a coffee machine would be here because this is just where some people work. They stay down here all the time. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Splinter Cell, whether you see me or not. <laughs> we'll uh, head into the next room, continue our search for Dowardy's computer, and prove that he's the mole that uh, did all this harm. Or maybe it's a wild goose chase. Who knows? I sure don't. I sure don't. I'll see you then, Bernie Dog fans. Later.